let's define the set's cardinal number. What do you mean by cardinal number? The cardinal number of set A represented by N of A. So this one here is N of A. This is what we use to denote the cardinality of A or the cardinal number of A. And the cardinal number of the set A is the number of distinct elements in set A. So this symbol here is read N of A. Again, distinct elements. So meaning to say you just have to count all the distinct elements. So if there are elements that are repeated, you just have to count them once. So repeating elements in a set neither adds new elements to the set nor changes its cardinality. Now, if you're going to compare these two sets here, I have an A that is listed as 1, 2, 3, and an A as 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Both of these sets have the same cardinality, meaning they have the same number of distinct elements. How many distinct elements are there in set A here? You only have three. On this other set A here, the number of distinct elements are also three because you only have to count one here, even if it's list listed twice, you just have to count this one as one. And then for two, even if two is listed twice, you just have to count it once. So the number of distinct elements here is also equal to three. So find the cardinal number of each of the following sets. So for this set here, when you say cardinal number, you are going to count the number of distinct elements. So what's the cardinal of A? How many distinct elements you see here? Four. So the cardinal of A, N of A, is equal to four. What about B equals the set containing zero? How many distinct elements you see inside the set here? It's only one. So N of B is equal to one. For the third example, you have C equal to 13, 14, 15, and so on, 22, 23. How many distinct elements are in this set? So starting from 13, you end at 23. So these are natural numbers from 13 to 23 inclusive. So including 13 and 23. How many numbers are there? You have 11. So N of C is equal to 11. You just have to count. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. You have 11 numbers there. If you want a shortcut, all you need to do is subtract 23 minus 13 is 10. And then you add 1 because the endpoints are included. Okay, but so you won't get confused. You just have to list them down and then count everything. Then let's define equivalent sets. Set A is equivalent to set B means that set A and B contain the same number of elements. So I want you to take note, same number of elements. So when you say two sets are equivalent, they have the same number of elements. So we're not saying that they have the same elements, but just the same number, meaning to say they have the same cardinality, okay? N of A is equal to N of B. So to illustrate this, these two are equivalent sets. So both of these sets here, set A is the set of all X such that X is a vowel. So all the vowel letters are A, E, I, O, U. And B is the set of all natural numbers such that X is greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 7. 
the natural numbers between 3 to 7 are 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So both of these sets here, A and B, have the same cardinality, which is equal to 5. Now, if you could see here, okay, they have one-to-one -one correspondence, okay? So this arrow here, the arrowheads here, this is used to indicate that each element of set A can be paired with exactly one element of set B. And each of the elements of set B can be paired with exactly one element with set A. So if set A and set B can be placed in a one-to-one -one correspondence, then set A is equivalent to set B, meaning their cardinalities are equal. And also if set A and set B cannot be placed in a one-to-one -one correspondence, then A is not equivalent to B. Cardinality of A is not equal to cardinality of B. Now let's consider the following example here and determine if sets are equivalent. This figure here shows the preferred age difference in a mate in five selected countries. We will call set A to be the set of five countries shown. So this will be the set containing Zambia, Colombia, Poland, Italy, and then United States. And set B is the set of the average number of years women in each of these countries prefer men who are older than themselves. So the teal color here is for women and the yellow are for men. For set B, we will just have to take these numbers here because we want to, B is the, uh, the set of average number of years women in each of these countries prefer men who are older than themselves. So B would be the set containing 4.2, 4.5, 3.3. So since we have 3.3 and 3.3 here, we will just have to list down 3.3 once and then 2.5. So are these two sets equivalent? explain. So to do this, we are going to list down first your A. So as I mentioned, this is your A and then this is your B. So first method, we'll try to set up a one-to-one -one correspondence. So Zambia would correspond to 4.2, Colombia would correspond to 4.5. But since we're just going to write down 3.3 once, Okay, we will not write this one twice. This corresponds to Poland and Italy, and 2.5 corresponds to US. So since both Poland and Italy from set A are being paired to 3.3 in set B, therefore from here we can say that these two sets are not equivalent. Another method also that you can use to verify whether the two sets are equivalent is to use the, the second method, which is by counting the elements or by comparing the cardinality. So if you count the number of elements for set A, you have 5. Cardinality of A is 5. Now if you count the number of elements for set B, you only have four elements. So N of B is four. You only have four distinct elements in B. Now, because the sets do not contain the same number of elements, therefore the two sets are not equivalent. Now let's define finite and infinite sets. We call a set to be a finite set if it's cardinality is either zero or a natural number. If the cardinality of a set is zero, that means the set is empty set. Or if it is a natural number, any natural number, okay, meaning it contains something. Now, a set whose cardinality is not zero or not a natural number, that set is called infinite set. If you cannot count the number of elements in that set. It is called an infinite set. Or if the set 
continues forever, if it doesn't end, then that set is an infinite set. So for example, the set of natural numbers is an infinite set because it continues without end. Equal sets. Now when can we say that two sets are equal? Two sets are equal if the two sets have exactly the same elements. Okay, so if the two sets contain exactly the same elements, regardless of the order and possible repetition of the elements, then the two sets are said to be equal. So meaning to say if they have the same number of elements, you can just say that the two sets are equivalent. So two sets are equal if they have exactly the same elements regardless of order and possible repetition and we symbolize this we symbolize the equality of sets using this notation here so set a is equal to set b again what's the difference between equivalent and equal equivalent meaning the same number of elements the same cardinality equal meaning exactly the same that means to say that if the sets are equal, then they're also equivalent. Now let's determine whether the statement here is true or false. So are these two sets here equal? Are they equal? Do they have the same number of elements? Yes. Are the elements exactly the same regardless of order? Yes. The ordering does not matter. So therefore, this is true. Both of these sets are equal okay next are these two sets equal no because you have zero here but you don't have zero here you only have three elements here you only have four elements you have four elements here therefore these two sets here are not equal so this is false 